Welcome to Aquarium Fish Reviews, where we review, analyze, and talk all things marine life in under three minutes. Starting out with a little bit of an oddity in the aquarium trade is the glass catfish. Also known as the ghost catfish or the x-ray fish, these unique fish are transparent, meaning you can see their spine and their organs. They can grow up to about six inches in length, and the average lifespan for these glass catfish is typically somewhere between seven to eight years. Uh, providing a solid amount of time for you to be able to bond and enjoy these fish. Now the glass catfish is a schooling fish and should be kept in groups of about four or more, typically with a simulated current and a pH that's between 6.5 and 7.5. The ideal water temperature for the glass catfish is gonna be somewhere between 73 degrees and 82 degrees Fahrenheit. And they're known to eat mosquito larvae, brine shrimp, and bloodworms. Now, when it comes to tank mates, I mean, the glass catfish have been amazing fish. I don't see any signs of aggression out of them ever. They kind of like swim in place and they'll find like a little branch or something like that in your aquarium and they'll just stay under that in their little school and just stay in one spot and kind of just like mimic, mimic the ocean current. They're peaceful, compatible with other species, I would recommend a Cooley Loach, Cory Catfish, Molly Fish, Sword Tails. However, breeding them can be a little bit difficult because you have to simulate the rainy season where they naturally spawn in the wild. So you're gonna need to lower the water level in the tank and maintain a temperature between 72 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. It's hard to tell the difference though between the males and the females. The females are only slightly larger and sometimes you don't know whether or not you just have a larger catfish or you have a female and the females are only slightly larger and have a very subtly larger belly for eggs and it's very very difficult to spot sometimes but as long as you know the basics of care it's not that challenging to keep these fish happy and healthy. Let's go over to the tank score and we'll wrap up for the day. Now, when it comes to wow factor, this fish is definitely unique, but it's not the most unique fish out there. I mean, you do have ghost shrimp, which do have that transparent look to them. So I'm gonna give it a score of a three out of five. Now, in terms of hardiness, the thing that you gotta be careful about with glass catfish is that they do not do well in ammonia spikes. Now, there's some fish out there like goldfish and molly that can do really well if the ammonia increases a little bit. But glass catfish, in my, my experience, have been very, very sensitive to ammonia spikes. So the hardiness level on this is gonna be a level three out of five. In terms of breeding, they can be very difficult to breed. I mean, conditions have to be almost spot on in order to breed these fish. I'm gonna give this a level two out of five in terms of breeding. In terms of affordability, I have seen that, you know, they've been in somewhere between the 499 to 999 range. So I'm gonna give it an affordability score of a four, but keep in mind that because they are schooling fish, you're gonna have to buy four of them at a time. Because I mentioned earlier that they can be found in most local pet stores, I'm going to give their rarity score a 2 out of a possible 5. So there you have it, the glass catfish. I'll be back with another video. Take care.